Hello guys, welcome to the second part of connecting uh, TI portal with net to pilsim with OP6 server and with factory IO. So in our previous video, we managed to establish a connection between uh, uh, between uh, uh, TI portal, uh, net to pilsim and uh, app server or basically the OPC server. Now we want to create uh, the connection between now the OPC server and uh, and factory IO. And uh, it happens that uh, with factory IO, we, we only have OPC DA, that is uh, data access. We don't have OPC UIA, the unified architecture, but it will work, I believe so. So what you need to do here is that uh, you must have the TIA. So you can see that in uh, our previous video, we had this program and this program is just sorting, sorting of items by height. Or basically sorting of products by height you know we have a conveyor belt then we have products passing by then we saw those products by height then uh, you have you must have your pill sim running so you can see the this is my uh, step 7 pill sim it is in run mode then I have my OPC server so this is my OPC server and I'm just using three tags only for demonstration that is uh, the address is I0.2 don't mind about the tag name but the address is very important the address is 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 for the output another input is 0 0.7 so what you need to do now you have to start your factory IO so this is my factory IO here and then uh, go to scenes all right just go to scenes then you see here we have several scenes here but uh, I'll just go to my scenes but you can also you can select this here you can select advanced sorting you know you can select here this one here sorting by height advanced not sorting by height basic but sorting by height advanced or you can I can just go to my scenes here and just select uh, sorting by height advanced here so you have it there then uh, let me just collapse that here so you see this is the array of sensors so these are sensors which will detect the the height of the product okay then based on the height we do some we do sorting then we have the turntable here all right so come to your file here okay then go to drivers so one thing is that we can connect uh, this using uh, step 7 communication basically if you start your step 7 uh, pill sim you can connect your factory IO direct without uh, need of OPC OPC server okay like you can see here the connection is true because the driver is step 7 pilsim alright the driver is step 7 pilsim because you know you can always connect your your TI portal or basically your pilsim to your factory IO using uh, step 7 communication so that is what's happening here but remember, in today's videos, we want to connect TIA portal or basically piercing using the OPC, OPC DA or maybe OPC UI. Okay, basically using OPC communication. So you have to select the new driver here, and you have to go with OPC client data access. It is client because we have the server already. We have the server, and our server is Cape Server version six. Okay, so you have to select OPC client DA data access so when you select this one you can see the server not defined so you can go to configuration here come to configuration then you have to search for server here you have to search for server and remember our server name is this is our server you can check this here this is our server our server is capeware cap server ex version 6 or v6 so our it is cap server x v6 so if I come to factory IO here I will try to search for that server so I will come here and use this drop down arrow and select cap server so I will select cap server here you can see we have capware dot cap server ex v6 you can check that with the, your OPC client here so you see it's the same name Capware, Cap Server, EX, V6. So I'll just select this one here. 
so immediately then you can browse items so let me just extend this limit here to let me say 100 all right 100 then uh, from uh, device we just need to get our tags from the device and remember our device here is device one you see here this is your device name your device name is device one here so we need to get our tags from device one all right we just need to get our tags from device one so you need you need to select this one from device and you can always filter this because you know with cap server we have several you can see this one in your quick client here we have a, a data log we have system we have a, we have channel one statistics we have systems we have a channel one device one statistics so we have several tags that are just useless here for now but uh, that's why it is imp it is always important to filter your items you know to avoid having so many random tags so you can go back for now le let's just leave it there so you can go back here So uh, let's just go to configuration here, yeah, just a minute. Uh, then browse items. Okay, fine. Then go back. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Just a minute here. So now you see, if you, if you scroll down, you'll see our tags, and our tags here are stop, start, and uh, feed conveyor, I believe so. So if you scroll down here, you can see the bunch of tags that are not useful right now. So you see we have the feed conveyor, we have start button, and we have stop buttons. And remember, those are our tags name in our, in our OPC server here. So you see this is feed conveyor, start button, stop button. And remember the address 0 0.2, 0 0.7, and Q 0 0.3. So I just need to add those tags to this. So you can scroll down here. And uh, you can add the tags. You know, you can add the tags. And remember now the tags here, In if you come to your TIA, remember the tags is turntable entry and uh, load position. Okay table entry and load position so you can just select them here load position as 0 0.7 um, take that see there then uh, turntable entry is there that uh, then you can see move forward so you can always select that here mm. so move forward can give it which uh, we have turn not really I don't believe that's it okay and then uh, have feed conveyor okay let me just select any of the actuator here let me just select any of the actuator let me just go with load anyway so that will be for feed conveyor so that's it so you know with this now if you go back to your driver and you run this so you don't have necessarily to modify using using the the pill sim here okay so if you start this here you know there will be a problem because i, I, I haven't had all the cards but you can see something here. So let me just So what is happening here? You can see that I just want you to watch this step. You know, it is it, it changing. So that's what 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 is happening because as I can pass through the compare, you see that uh, you have the proximity sensor that you can take the so that's the easiest way how you can connect with the IPO with the fact that you are using OPC server, especially OPC 
so remember there's a difference between what is in your head and what is in your head. You know, Professor E, how your head is limited. So it can work on all the uh, operating systems. But what is in your head, it is only for Windows. You know, you are planned and you are sour and you are planned on the operating system that is Windows. Okay, so thank you.